Assalamu alaikum. I uh, will continue to explain to you guys and teach you uh, the Arabic sounds, Arabic alphabet sounds in English phonetics, like as a comparison in English. So, uh, last time we stopped at U sound, we say Alif and Ya. Uh, Alif and Ya sounds like U, sounds in English, and I give you example about unit or under in English in Arabic. Uh, as I told you, we have this word. Yasmin, and I'm forget start with Ya, Alef, Sin, Mim, Ya, Nun. And we write in Arabic from right to left. Yasmin. Or we have the name, uh, uh, in, uh, the, uh, the name Alex. Start with Alef, Lam, Kaf, Sin. Alex. Like A. Uh, now I will talk about the Fa sound, the Wow sound, the Ya sound, the Zai sound, as it stands here alone as each sound in English uh, stands alone here. I'll give examples. I'll give examples too. So, guys, I hope you listen carefully and also you write some notes. This, these notes you write them to, to help you in the future remember. So if, you, if we start learning how to write words after we finish the whole Arabic alphabet uh, letters uh, if we learn them all, we'll start to write words, like word uh, consists of three letters, two letters, four letters, how we confirm, how, I mean, how we form words, how we make, for, how we make uh, words in Arabic uh, from like one letter, two letter, as we talked before, you know, remember last lesson was about, uh, if I say hand in, in English, we, in Arabic we say ya and dal, it's just two letters, ya and dal, so we, we make word from two letters, ya means hand. So we will continue. Uh, if, if, I, if I change this word to say a, a verb, like yadum, means continue. Yadum, so continue. So we'll, we will learn how, how to write uh, words from letters. Ya, dal, wa, mean. Uh, after uh, we finish the whole Arabic alphabet learning. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about the fa now. The fa sound. Fa sounds like V. Or fa sounds as an F, exactly as an F, but because we, we have this in English, V sound here, so uh, sometimes if, if you give me a word in, in English like this one, valley, and you tell me, write valley in Arabic, you, we have this word, valley, in English, so and you ask me, write valley in Arabic, I'm going to write it this way, valley. I know maybe some people, they add like dots like that to make it recognized as V, this part, to stand like that. So they add three dots like, they mean like this, this word or this uh, way of written, how you write it here, uh, is, is, is representing the V sound, not the Fa sound, not the Fa, the F. So we do like this, or the B sound like that, and uh, in English B, sometimes if we say B, 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 or something like this, B, 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 B. <laughs> you know, it's a funny way to, when I say it, but it's like we recognize it, this is, uh, with the three dots, the B like that represents this B. What is it? The B sounds here. Or F with three, with three dots represent that. Usually we write Fa like this only, like this way. And uh, this is rarely, not all the time you find that. Not all the time. Sometimes you see a word like that. Not all the time. Rarely, you mean. Like not all times. Or seldom. All right. Uh, here... We we'll continue about the fa sounds. So if we say this word, uh, saif, saad, then ya, let me use a different color, fa, this is fa connected at the end. So this fa like this, but uh, we represent the, to represent the V, uh, if we say saif, you, you wouldn't say saif, I know, but. Uh, a word has a, a fa sound close to the V. Uh, approximately this fa, exactly this fa sound like this, a fa sound. So a fa sound here, fa sounds like F, and this word saif. Saif, of course, means summer, summertime. Summer. Okay. Uh, I will uh, continue with the next one because I don't want to focus on this a lot. We usually wouldn't have V a lot in Arabic language, this word. So I will move to the next uh, sound. All right, 
Here we have wow. Wow or W. Like we have wow here, one, same thing. This will pronounce it as in this sound, one, wow, wa, even if this O sound, but wa. In this word, the sound just starts with wa. So wow here. Word, word. Uh, so the wow sounds like W and word. Uh, I will give examples about the wow if we say warda. Warda in Arabic, wa, warda. And by the way, see, this is a word, but it's not connected like, you know, usually we write the all Arabic words uh, connected to each other. This is separately. It's a word connect of one, two, three, four letters, or I mean, uh, consists of one, two, three, four, or made up of four letters in Arabic. And they are not connected, but still a word. Wow. Be because what? In this case, we cannot connect the wow to the ra, or the ra to the dal, or the dal. We cannot connect. This is like, not all the time happened. It's, you can say exceptional case or a case where no wow connected to the ra or the ra connected to the one comes from the left. We, we cannot connect the ra from the left. We can connect the ra or the wow from the right or the da from the right or the tam or buta from the right. We cannot connect them from this way, from the left. So warda. Warda means rose. This is R S E. Warda. The sound starts with wa. Wa sound here. Wa. Or word. Word means uh, kalima. By the way, word in, in Arabic means kalima. When we say word, word English, word, word means kalima. Kalima means, you know, kalima means this. Uh, if I add lam, I know, you know, like we call this lam or l. Word, if we say word, means alam. Alam. See, one letter also saying the word. So if we say word, just we keep the word we have. Word. Word means kalima. The speech we pronounce. Words, words makes sentences and makes phrases. So if you if you wanna say a complete or write a complete sentence, you will use these words. Even word comes as a noun or verb or adjective or adverbs or uh, adjective uh, adverbial phrase phrases prepositional phrase. You know these as we have we have it in English. We have the same thing in in Arabic. So. Word alone, word kalima. Uh, here, for X, I, I write here, not applicant, N, N, A. Why I write in A? Because we don't have this uh, X in Arabic. We don't use, we don't use uh, X, uh, we don't use X. We don't have this in Arabic. I know some, some countries or some people, they like Xerox, Z, the, Xerox or I think Russian or they pronounce it like CH or I don't know Z X Z H but I I see sometimes on TV H they write as they pronounce as Z maybe Xerox or an ad and some advertisement on TV or CH and I think Russian use it or German I don't know I mean, uh, we have something that like that in Arabic we don't have it I mean exactly hundred percent we don't have X in Arabic because if you say X it's gonna be Aleph Kaf Sin X. This is our the way, like three liters, and we don't use that in Arabic. So this is not applicable. Also, uh, I have before something like that, not applicable. Era. Oh, it's called comes next, the next sound. So this sounds we don't have it in Arabic. We will have it as a compound or uh, as many liters it comes in one word. If I say Alex, Al Alexander, Alexander, Alexander in English, Alexander, Alexander. Alif, Lam, Kaf, Sa. So when I say Alex, X, I say it, but here we have two letters, Kaf and C. So we have two letters. We have to use two letters, not one like that. So this is exceptional case in English. Or, like, we use it in English, but we don't use it in Arabic. So it's like we don't have it at all in Arabic. That's why I like this. Okay, I move to the next one. Why? Why sound? Or, yeah, we say yard. The word yard here for, yeah, sound. Yard. So, yeah, start with a yeah sound. If I say yes, yeah sound. The same word, yeah. As I told you before, we have the word yet. Excuse me here. Yet means hand. Hand. Yet, yeah, and that. I do it in a colors. One second, please. This is yeah. And. 
This is dal. Yad. So dal and ya. Uh, one letter ya, one letter dal. One letter of Arabic letters. Ya and dal and di. Ya and di. So these two letters make a word. Yad means hand. So yad starts with a ya sound like that. Yad. Or if I say Yasmin, is a name of a girl, or Yemen, uh, name of our country, my country there, overseas, Yemen. Or I say uh, another word, Nadi. This word, Nadi, Noon, Aleph, Dal. And I do this in a daftar, uh, different color, yeah. Nadi, like this, yeah. So Nadi means, of course, a club. If you are in a club, any club, school club or your work club, or any club you go, sport club, social club, so nadi, club. The ya yeah stands here alone like that, so nadi, we call ya, yeah, ya, yeah, nadi. I know the sound here, uh, the sound is down here, like if you say nadi, it's gonna be like this, d, or d, e, short sound, but I'm talking about the ya yeah itself. So, the ya, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, the ya, yeah, as in yad, or yasmin, so, ya yeah sound, you pronounce it ya. Yeah. Or you, when we say you, in English, same thing, you. Or youth, you know, you, youth, shabab, means, of course, in Arabic, shabab. But the, the sound is up to the ya. Let's, let's write that, the name of the country itself, it's, it's a good one, it's a good example. So if we say uh, Yemen, I'm from Yemen. So, my country overseas, Yemen. Y, it starts with Y, E, M, E, N. Ya, yeah, Yemen. In Arabic, I write it this way. This is the Ya. Yeah. And this is me. This is no, Yemen. This is me connected. Yeah. Yemen. Ya, Mim, Noon. Ya, Mim, Noon. Yemen. Oh, we pronounce it not like Yemen, we say Yemen. This is the right way to pronounce it, not Yemen. I know we write it in English this way, but we say it Yemen, it's a pronunciation. Yemen. Okay, this is a good example, Ya and Ya. All right, we move to the next one in like one minute before this session ends. And the next word is... Z, Zai, Zai in Arabic, sounds like Z in English. We have this example in English, Zo, Zo, so we have Zai. Zai, if I say the word uh, mouse, Mim, Wow, Zai, or Zain, some people they say Zain, Zai or Zain. Mouse, Mouse means banana. Banana. So we have this word, banana. Ban, ban, na, na, yeah, sorry, because there are many N, N, okay, N, 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 H, okay, banana, mouse, we say banana, mouse, Z, mouse, well, I pronounce it this way, mouse, mouse, Z sound, mouse, this one, all right, another example, if I say this one, mazra, uh, me, then Zai. Then we have Ra, Hain, Tamar, Buta. Mazra'ah means farm. So Mim, Zai, Z, Z sound like that, Z. Mazra'ah, Mazra'ah. They say Mazra'ah, Mazra'ah. Okay. Or Zaytun. The word Zaytun. This is Zai. Sorry, because of the time. Zai. Ya, ta, wa, noon. Is Aleph. So, za, za sound like this. Za, zaytun, called zaytun. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, see you next lesson, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Appreciate it.